Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. In the last episode we actually got ourselves a bunch of pre-hard mode wings and when I say a bunch I clearly just mean a bunch of feathers, not a bunch of wings because there are only two wings that we use to fly. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I actually dyed them. I, uh, I used my strange plants and I got some dye and I have dyed them red and I have dyed the body black well silver reflective but it kind of looks like black and i kind of like this black and red theme it looks good anyway today i want to uh, actually have another crack at that biome sword that we didn't get to do yesterday because a bunch of you were just like hey chippy update your mod uh yeah this is something i always neglect to do i just needed to update it and now we actually have the biome blade this is the uh crimson version and then there's an upgraded version, and then a super upgraded version. Look at that. That is that is really, really mad. So we're going for the Biome Blade today. I want to do that. And then I'm going to do a Eater of Worlds fight. <clears throat> going to do that today. And then that's going to be it. It's going to be kind of a short episode, kind of a talky episode, where I just collect some materials and such. Because I've had a really, really long day in real life doing some business stuff, which is uh, always so, 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 so tiring. It's really mad. But um, one of the things I've done for Chippy Gaming today is, for the past five years, I've been with Disney, right? So Chippy Gaming and Disney have been in a bit of a partnership, or, you know, Maker Studios. Well, I actually ended that today in a, uh, you know, to finally end it so I can kind of go off and be my own YouTuber. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a really cool thing. Um, but that's what I had to deal with today. That's why I've been a... Uh, a bit kind of managing and such but other than that i feel pretty damn good so we actually need a few things to make this biome blade possible we need 10 dirt blocks 10 sand 10 ice ebon stone glowing mushroom marble granite and hellstone so today i'm gonna go down well in this little path right now i'm gonna go get marble glowing mushroom uh and i'm also gonna get granite and then I'm going to come back. Oh, and I'm also going to get Hellstone. And then I'm going to come back up and grab the Ice and the Ebon Stone. Because they're kind of close to each other. Right, so let's actually just dive down. We actually have a Granite Biome just here. And then we also found a Marble Biome. Because I was asking you guys about your opinion on Marble Biomes. Most of you said you really like them because you like the bricks. So uh, that's nice. It's nice to hear that you like them. It's just I find them a little bit pointless. It's all it is. It's not that I actually dislike them. They're actually pretty good. And I do like the blocks as well. Once somebody said that, I was kind of like, yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Right, so our marble biome is... I'm just going to go down to the mushroom one first, and then we'll see our marble one, because I know we definitely have one. I know we have one for sure. Man, it's it's a little bit weird not having my uh, my little um, light accessory, you know, the little helmet I wore for the first few episodes. It, it feels like I have to constantly maintain... You know, vision and making sure everything's not too dark just for you guys. And that's not great. I should have uh, swapped back to it maybe just for this little uh, for this little part of the episode. I'll, I'll remember that in the future. I'll remember uh, maybe set up a farm for shine potions. Just so it's a little bit nicer for you guys. That's all I want it to be. Right, I'm following the map here. I'm just looking at this map. Oh, there's our marble. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Man, it is super dark. It is super, super dark. Even I can't even see. I feel like my monitor is suddenly randomly darker. Okay, underground we go. Alright, let's grab ten of these. Huh. Okay, that wasn't actually too hard. I mean, look, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, cool. Right, so this should lead us straight into the marble biome down here. And then we have got that. I'm excited to actually see this. I was really surprised that it was just a case of, oh, I needed to update my mod. I originally thought, when we couldn't find it, I thought, oh, you know, a lot of these people that, you know, watch the uh, watch the mod, they play themselves with a bunch of different mods. And I thought that maybe the person who left the comment had kind of gotten it all jumbled up with uh, a bunch of different mods they were playing. But uh, yeah, kind of cool. Even a few people were like, no, uh, Chippy, don't worry, it's from a different mod. And I was, uh, I was quick to agree with them, but uh, I'm kind of glad that... We could actually find it. Apparently, it's a really good sword. That's why I wanted to do it today. I wanted to uh, give it a try. You know, maybe use it against the Eater of Worlds. And, uh, yeah, th that's about it for that. But other than uh, other than sorting out my Disney Maker stuff today, which, once again, is a good thing. I'm really excited for it. It just means that, like, 
Chippy Gaming is kind of independent now. And uh, like I say, that's not a bad thing. I've not left for any bad reason or anything like that. It's just when you get to the end of your contract, you decide, do you want to carry on or do you want to leave? And I decided this time around, I'm, I'm going to leave. But other than that, I have kind of a funny story. There's a web stylus near here. Hmm. Do we go and hunt for it? I think not, because I, I don't really want the stylist NPC. She's pretty naff. So I have another little funny story, which uh, is kind of embarrassing, but I'll tell you it anyway. So Python, the YouTuber, as you guys know him, uh, well, Python's coming around tomorrow to, you know, just to chat. And uh, <laughs> I thought to myself, oh, Python's coming tomorrow. I best go and get myself a haircut, right? So I look nice and fresh because Python's coming around. You know, I don't want to look... You know, it was it was getting a bit shabby. It needed a cut. Oh my god, look at that demon slide so quick. Right, I'm going to uh, quickly turn down my audio. It's a bit loud for me. Okay, right. So, uh, Python's coming around tomorrow, and I thought, oh man, I've got to go get a haircut just so it's nice and fresh. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, if you guys don't know, in real life, I have uh, I have curly hair, right? Which, uh, which is <laughs> something kind of funny. You guys always uh, troll me for it, but that's okay. But I have this curly hair anyway, and it's kind of long on top. And then, you know, short short to medium on the sides, but curly on the top. Like a little, like, mini afro quiff. <laughs> um, but, so I went there, and I was kind of like, hey, buddy. I was like, I want to get my hair cut. And he was like, yeah, cool, right? This is a place I've been to before. I was like, so, what I want doing is I want it nice and short on the sides, like normal, because that's what I usually have. And then I was like, and I don't want much, much taken off my top, like, lengthwise. And usually when I go get my hair cut, you know, because I have curly hair, you guys might have this, you know, yourself. Um, they have to do it with a pair of scissors because when you do curly hair, it's not that simple because, you know, it's there's loads of different layers to it and such. You know, you have to really think about cutting curly hair, right? And so uh, I go only a little bit off the top. And when I mean a little bit, I really meant a little bit, right? So uh, he, he buzzes my hair up and down on the sides with a, with a number three. So that makes it nice and kind of medium to short. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. And then he grabs my hair, like the top of my head, in a clump of hair, and just makes one snip, and just chops it all off. And I was, <laughs> I was like, uh, I was like, dude, I, uh, I asked for a, uh, you know, a little bit off the top. I was like, you know, what have you done? And he was kind of like, well, there's not much we can do now. And then he uh, did two more little cuts to, uh, to sort it out. But uh, yeah, that wasn't uh, <laughs> that wasn't really working for me. But anyway, that's what happened today. I uh, went for a nice haircut and got most of my hair chopped off. And I like having long hair on top. That's uh, when you have curly hair, I think it looks nice. But uh, yeah, that's my funny little story. My hair looks fine, by the way. It's just uh, super annoying. Like this guy just kind of one chopping my hair. <laughs> I did find it kind of funny. So Python can enjoy that hair tomorrow. But that is all the blocks I wanted to get. So we're off back up to the top. And then I'm going to go to the left to go and get my ice. I've not actually delved into the snow biome yet. So hopefully there is a uh, an opening to get some ice. But we should be good. But that's all that's happened to me today. Other than that, like that is like the most knackering story in the world. Like Disney stuff and getting your hair cut. I'm beat. Life would be YouTuber, man. <laughs> okay, on to the Terraria stuff anyway. So we actually just got a Hellstone. I was uh, talking over it, but uh, I was I was pretty shocked that th that lava was falling down. It's obviously because our little minion went and killed a um, went and killed a, an expert slime, but uh, I was I was a little bit worried then. But we did that pretty fast, to be honest. Right, I'm gonna have to dig down for this one because it doesn't seem like we're gonna get any uh, natural ice on the uh, on the surface. But that's okay. I mean, I should find an underground area pretty fast. I mean, look at this. This might be the uh, start of something good. Let's see, can the plasma rod do anything? Alright, did stuff. It did stuff. Right, we're looking for ice. It can't be snow, right? Just double checking. Yeah, it has to be ice. So, ice is usually a little bit lower down anyway, isn't it? Well, sometimes. Sometimes you can get it on the surface, sometimes not. But yeah, it's just, just, just a mad day for me. <laughs> but no, it's good stuff. I am, uh, yeah, I've got Python around tomorrow. If you guys have any questions for him... Let me know, and I'll uh, I'll quiz him tomorrow, and then when I record when he's left, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll let you know what he says. Uh, a lot of people are asking about the snow because I mentioned uh, I mentioned that I'm I'm hopefully getting snow where I live. Unfortunately, no snow, right? And this is an outrage because look at us in the snow biome. No snow in the slightest. I was kind of hopeful that it would come, but then I was kind of like, well, I hope it doesn't because then Python can't get a train. But yeah, just no snow in general, like. Like, that's rough. 
I was expecting like, I don't know, a good few centimeters of at least, but uh, not even a drop. I know it snowed in London though tonight, saw that, but uh, yeah, absolutely got in. Right, I'm going to grab these rotten chunks, and while I'm in the uh, corruption biome, I am going to make the rotten flesh so we can uh, do that fight afterwards. I mean, we've got these new wings, and I want to test the biome sword on it, but I also just want to have a little rematch because I lost last time because I was being a bit silly, and I, I kind of did it with intentions of it being frantic because I like it being frantic. It's a cool boss to do frantic, but I didn't expect to lose. Right, so on the way to the right, I'm really looking forward to next week. You know what? I was thinking, wow, is that slime falling from the sky? And then it actually did. Oh, do you know what? This would be good for the boss checklist. I don't really want to kill all these slimes, though, because it will just take time away from uh, something I'm not too bothered about. So I'm going to leave it. Man, these wings are uh, a little bit hard to get used to, if I'm honest. I'll get there, though. I'll get there, though. But, yeah, I wanted it to be frantic, but then I also didn't expect to lose. So I want to rematch. I want it to be nice and fair. It's going to be good. Oh, and then I was going to say, I'm looking forward to next week. I'm going to uh, clear up a bit of space in my day to actually start working on some uh, buildings for the series because I want to have a nice little um, a nice little house and such. Maybe I'll record it and speed it up and such and try and make it as cool as possible. But uh, usually building takes a really long time in Terraria. So I usually just try and, um, I usually try and either edit it out or really speed it up. So I'll find a cool balance for it. It should be good. It should be good. And no, this is I keep I've gone down the wrong chasm three two times? Two times. Okay, let's uh let's regroup. These wings though, I will admit, are very cool, but they are not as good as rocket boots. And I think that's the point. The first comment I saw was uh somebody from I believe it was called Pokeball. Um and they were like, you know what, I'm not a big fan of pre Admo wings, they're a bit overpowered. And I am uh, definitely in agreement. Why can I not make rotten flesh? Let me check this. Because I may just be uh, stupid for today. Not that. What is it called? Meat? Rotten. Come here, actually. There is a little window here I didn't realize we had. Oh, worm food. There you go. Ah, you need the vile powder. Of course you do. Of course you do. You need those vile mushrooms. Right. Do we go up and grab some then? Let's uh, let's grab our ebon stone. And then we'll go up and grab some. And then we can come back and actually do the fight. Okay. I do need to get rid of some of these blocks. Do I need mud? Oh, that's a good point. Do I need mud? Biome. Sword. Don't need mud. Okay. Maybe that's something you might want to add to the crafting recipe there. Because that would make a lot of sense. Okay, so that's 13 pieces. So let's go and grab ourselves some bile mushrooms, and then we'll go back to the house. Getting plenty of rotten chunks, though. Yeah, completely forgot you need the uh, the vial powder. Yeah. Ooh, uh, it's funny as well, because I only did the crafting recipe a few days ago. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's see, are there any on the surface here? It's a little bit dark. We'll see. Hopefully we don't pass any. I believe it's six you need. Six or five. Maybe five? Uh, no, I think it's six. I think it's six. Have I got the sand? Yeah, I've got the sand. Okay. Okay, I've probably got some at the house anyway. But uh, we'll do one last check while we're kind of flying back. And then we'll see if we can actually uh, get the vial powder that we need for today. If not, it might be a case of smashing shadow orbs maybe? Again, I mean, I only smashed three in this world, so there should be a few left. But then again, it is only a small world, so... Hmm, okay, right, no luck. Let's go back to the house, where it's nice and bright. And then we should be able to, here, craft up our, uh, our sword. We just need a wooden sword. And then... Get rid of the worm tooth. Bam! The biome blade! Oh, wow. Okay, was that because of the minion, or was that just because this item is awesome? Let's get, get rid of the minion. Wow, that feels, uh... Oh, wow, look at that. It's actually shooting projectiles out. Oh, snap. The Right, that looks... That looks and plays quite cool. Might need a bit of a, a downgrade, though, because that's such a cheap recipe. 
Hmm. It's a very cheap recipe, very powerful sword. Anyway, let's see in nature if we have any of these uh, little mushrooms. Do we? No, we actually don't. Ah. Ah, I was kind of hoping that we would. So let's see. Let's quick snack a bunch of stuff. So let's take our bombs then. Let's take our bombs and let's see if we can uh, blow up part of the world. And then we're going to use the biome blade. Actually, you know what? I need some potions first. And then we're going to use the biome blade because it should be awesome. Have I still got... No, okay. Right. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself a little bit. Internal thought about potions. I was going to say, have I still got my food? And clearly I have not. So I'll take a regen. Can't make any iron skin because we are out of day bloom. Ah. That is not great. It's not great, but it's still manageable. Night Owl. Hunter. Oh, I need foe as well. Let's see. Food, 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 potions, foe. Right. Well, we may as well go destroy a bunch of slimes just because we can. It's a good way of getting some gel. And if we kill enough of these, we will actually get a slime king. Although, our chances are probably pretty slim because I've not spent the day killing them. Usually, if you spend the day killing them, you'll get a slime king. If you don't, then you won't. Or maybe it's every, every time you do it for the first time, you actually get a slime king. You know what? I'm going to have to look that up later on. But um, I can't remember the spawn rates of uh, king slime to number of slimes killed during a slime event. Ah, well. Ah, well. It's not really that important. I mean, it's the slime king after all. Who who really <laughs> who really needs him? He's a he's a he's a, a sponge. Okay, but let's fly back and let's see if there's anything to blow up. Hopefully there is. I mean, I'm hoping there is. If not, this might be a case of we leave it till tomorrow, let the world grow a little bit. It'd be a bit of a shame though. But you know, if that needs to happen, it needs to happen. Got to give it time to grow, guys. <laughs> Stop being so impatient. No, I'm kidding. It's me that's being impatient. I'm just uh, trying to pass the blame onto you. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to fall down this chasm. This first one that we get. And see if I can uh, if I can at least find some vile mushrooms. You might be able to find some down here. That's the funny thing. Right, well, definitely not that one. Not finding anything down there, are we? Let's see. Let's try this one. Nope. Um, right, this one here. Okay, all right, so there is two. So let's blow them up. Okay, so one, two, three. That should do it, actually. There we go. Right, a chill goes down your spine. So let's try a few more on this one. So let's see, one here, one there, one there. Oh, I just, oh man, yeah, I just realized they're going to drop. This should be fine. We do actually have a pickaxe to uh, to do this anyway. Hey, I actually took a few of them out. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, wow, that, that biome effect is, is beautiful. Right, I'm just falling down here to actually check for orbs. Huh, right, you know what? This could actually be a pretty fun place to actually do this fight. So, I'm out of platforms, unfortunately, but that shouldn't stop me because, yeah, this looks like it'll be good. I have uh, I have faith for this area. Let's kill this dude. Wow, this this biome blade is, uh, is really powerful. It really, really is. Okay. Come on, worm. Oh, there you go. Screams echo around you. Right, what was that then? That's a shadow warp. I'll equip it, but honestly, it's useless. And then we're going to go back to our normal bombs. Kill a bunch of these dudes on the way. Because why not? And then we are going to actually get this going. So, jellyfish, please stop that. Good. Heal up. I just want to make sure this area is nice and clear before we do this. 
You know what? I might actually use the rope to my advantage here. Let's start placing a bit of rope. Because then I can reset my wings on the rope. That's all I'm thinking. Whether I will manage to do that or not is like something different now. Like mentally, whether I will remember to do that. Even though I said it two seconds ago. <laughs> Alright, come on, worm. Man, this is one of the things about uh, Terraria. It's like, do you... Do you wait and kill all the enemies, or you know, is there any point because they'll spawn back? You know what I mean? It's a, it's a it's a hard one to uh, to decipher. Right, gonna throw these down. Gonna buff up. Really? Really? Hey, there we go. Right. Okay. Let's see how we do against this guy. Oh my God! Absolutely, just wrecking him in the face. The only thing is, this is expert mode, and we are in the open here, and that does mean that he can do a little attack where he spits out at us. Oh, snap. Bad idea, good idea. What are you guys thinking? You have a few minutes to, you have a few seconds to decide. Am I going to die here, or am I going to live? You guys get to decide my fate. I'm thinking, oh, obviously it's a good idea now. Look at that. Okay, nerf your biome blade, good sir. Nerf that. That is way too, uh, that's way too good. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop using it, though. I like it too much. What? Oh, there we go. I was like, what? Look at me doing, like, such a, a derpy what? <laughs> it's because I was like, where's that expert mode back? I was like, this is expert mode, though, right? Oh, I picked up this early. Didn't even say a word about it because I was talking. Great item. Probably not going to use it, though. Nice. Right, well, anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. It's pretty, you know what I mean? It's been a bit of a busy day, but Calamity Mod is something, like, really nice to end the day on. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.